This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. In the first two days, I don't know. Did you hear DVH's comment a couple minutes ago? Yeah, 100%. I was freezing. But yeah, there's no excuses though. How, how good did it feel there? I know, you know, you guys were already up three, but the base is loaded to get that that RBI single. Saw some emotion from you. How good was, was that moment and just, you know, kind of working through maybe the, the struggles of the first two days? Yeah, it felt good. You know, helping the team always feels good. And yeah, just have to do a job. Colin, just kind of walk us through, you know, what was the mindset like for your first collegiate start and, you know, what was working for you today? So I was excited. So I was my mindset was kind of just throw strikes and trust the defense because they made some great plays. So if they're making plays like that, you might as well just try to throw it in the zone, let them hit it. So yeah, I was excited. Cody, how did it feel this weekend? Get to go out there twice and went pretty well for you both times. Yeah, I uh, definitely can't complain with that being my first two outings. And if I, I made this joke to a couple of people, uh, it felt good coming out the first time and hearing a cheer after my name got announced because the last sound I heard coming off that mound was not a pleasant one. So that definitely made me feel a lot better. Colin, I, I don't remember how you pitched in the fall, but I know from what we've seen from you the last few weeks, it, it's been really good. Maybe the last month or so in particular, what's gone well for you? And how did that translate onto the mound? Did you feel like today? Uh, definitely just attacking the zone. I felt like earlier in the fall, I was trying to be like too perfect. So attacking the zone definitely helped. And just trusting the defense more. So, so kind of my game plan for today was trust the defense and throw a lot of strikes. They put you in a lot of game type situations in the preseason with these scrimmages, so, but did today feel any different for you with it being an actual game? Definitely because there was a crowd, there's a lot of people there. So the excitement level is a little higher. But other than that, I felt like just another day of pitching. So, Cody, you got any thoughts on how your fellow Oki there pitched today? Pretty impressive for that being his first college outing and doing that. So that was fun to see. That was fun to watch. Vahiva, I was just wondering what your vantage point was on the on the play where you ran about sixty yards out in the left field. Oh yeah, so I I just uh straight when the ball was hit, um, uh, you know, I just started breaking and I saw out of my corner of my eye Jason still back on the warning track. And I was like, Yeah, this is my ball for sure. And yeah, just ended up with it somehow. And then call him the very first pitch of the game, I think, or maybe one of the first pitches of the game, Jason made that nice catch out in left field. Just did that settle you down at all? And what was your vantage point on that play? Definitely, definitely helped me out a little bit, kind of calmed me down, like chilled my uh, excitement level a little bit. So that definitely helps when plays like that are made. For any of you guys, just what's the level of excitement now turning this page and looking forward to next weekend, the, the three really, you know, tough opponents on the schedule? I mean, I would say that Coach Hobbs talked to the pitchers about it in our post-game meeting that going into Arlington three and one over two and two is actually a big thing for us. Um, going into Arlington with this win, it's a good starting point. Um, Coach Hobbs talked to the pitching staff about how this jersey isn't something that people need to see and just think, oh, it's Arkansas. Like we have to earn not necessarily the fear, but the respect of wearing this jersey. And so going into Arlington, we're feeling pretty good about that. As of right now, we still got a lot of stuff we need to work on. Um, but it's a good stepping point. So you pitched there last year. Uh, what, what are the differences pitching in a, a, a bigger ballpark like that? For me personally, that this will be now my third time pitching there, I think. I pitched there in Nebraska. We played TCU in a weekend series. So for me, nothing really changes. Um, and I hope that I can spread that as we're leading up to it this week with kind of the rest of the guys is don't let the setting get too big for you and don't let it amp you up that much. There's going to be a lot of people there. It's going to be um, pretty high competition. You know, we got Oregon State coming in first day, like nothing against JMU. That was a great team. They're tough. They battled. They came here ready to play. But Oregon State may be on a little bit different level. So as far as that goes, we're gonna, we got to be ready to go from the first pitch. Colin, what would you have said if we had told you before the weekend that you would be in a rotation with Hagen, Brady Tiger, and Mason Molina, and you'd have the, the best stat line? I probably wouldn't believe you. They're, they're great pitchers. Hagen, probably top 20 pick, top 10 maybe. Then Brady and Molina are great too in the careers they've had. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't believe you if you told me that a couple of days ago.
Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.